Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday today, April 30th. Greetings to you all from Calvary Christian Reformed Church in Edina, Minnesota. My name is Pastor Nick Van Beek, and I want to thank you all for joining me today. If you are new to these videos, uh, first of all, welcome to you. Uh, but we have been journeying uh, for these devotional videos through the Old Testament book of Psalms. As many of us have been stuck in our homes, uh, we've been uh, keeping a connection with each other and opening God's word together um, uh, as a way of being nourished during this very unique time. Today, we are up to Psalm 13, uh, which is interesting because we covered Psalm 13 on day three of our daily devotional videos back on March 25th, which seems so long ago. But I would like to read Psalm 13 again today, uh, first because I think Psalm 13 is such a great psalm, but also because I think Psalm 13 meets us where many of us are right now. And so I invite you to hear the word of the Lord once again from Psalm 13, where David says, How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever. How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and every day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, O Lord my God, give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death. My enemy will say, I have overcome him, and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As a pastor, I have met with many people who are in very dark and very difficult places in life. And Psalm 13 is one of those psalms that I often turn to and read for these people who are in these dark places. And I will read Psalm 13 especially if they are going through something that does not seem to go away. Something that persists and persists and persists. And I can tell that the words of Psalm 13 make many, many people feel uncomfortable, even those who are suffering. To accuse God of forgetting us, when we of course know that God doesn't forget anything, it seems disrespectful. Maybe even it seems blasphemous. To ask a God how long something is going to go on, it feels like we are not accepting his sovereign plans. And so one of the things that I want to say today as we look at Psalm 13 again is I want to say that this is what a healthy relationship with God and this is what a healthy relationship with anyone looks like. If you have a healthy marriage and something is hurtful to you or confusing to you, you are honest with your spouse and you approach them about your hurt and about your confusion. This is what it means to have an intimate relationship with someone. And God desires this same kind of relationship and intimacy with us. David would not be considered a man after God's own heart if this were not a healthy way to relate to God. And so I want to point out again today that out of the 150 psalms, there are 50 psalms, so about a third of the psalms, that are psalms of lament. Psalms like Psalm 13, where the psalmist speaks to God in this way. And so today I want to invite you and your families and your prayers to do the same thing I invited you to do the last time we looked at Psalm 13. 
I want to invite you to lament to God where we are. Lament to God that we are stuck in our homes. Lament that people are dying. Lament that people have lost their jobs. Lament that seniors are not able to enjoy their senior years with their classmates. Lament that kids are not able to go to school and to play with their friends. Lament the reality of sickness and disease and cry out to God and ask him how long this is all going to go on. Today, God's word invites us to lament. To cry out to God and to say, how long, O Lord, have you forgotten us? Maybe you want to write down today all the things that you wish to lament to God. Maybe you want to sit your children down and, and ask them about the things that they are sad about and to lament those things to God. However you do it, I believe the psalmist proclaims to us today that there is value in bringing our sorrows and our fears to God. Tell God that you're sad. Tell God why you're afraid. Tell God why you're angry. Tell God why you're disappointed. Tell God why this is difficult. Tell him whatever is on your heart. Be honest with him. But then, I invite you to close your prayer with verses 5 and 6. The psalmist doesn't only voice his pain and his lament and his sorrow. He also confesses his faith. I invite you to close your prayer with verses 5 and 6, which say, But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. People of God, may the Lord 